Could there be an agenda going on? Well, we're going to compare certain ladders and levels over here. Now, if you study history and if you study the world rulers in power, you're going to find very interestingly that there is a pyramid structure of power, so to speak, of elites. Now, Bible believers were actually very aware of the one on top. So we know the top tired system. A lot of the people who are angry about the government, and some of them include people involved in conspiracies. So let's put over here people who are anti-government, so to speak. And then we can even, uh, this can include medical experts who are speaking out about some shady things going on with the statistics, the COVID-19 lockdown restrictions, et cetera, all the way to Alex Jones and conspiracy theory guys. All right, we can include that. I'm not saying that all scientists, medical doctors are anti-government, but basically I just wanna put this in quotations and basically say that they're angry, that they're angry, they're concerned and they're wondering, they're skeptical of the government. So let's just put it that way. But these guys, you know what they're looking at? They're only looking at over here, the lower side. And then you got other people who are like in between. And people who are like in between, they're like at different levels somewhere. It's like here or here or here. Now I'm going to point out something to you is that some people might be upset that there's a lot of Bible-believing pastors who aren't covering a lot of the conspiracies that are going on within our government, the shady stuff. I mean, the scientists are speaking out, the medical experts, a lot of people are speaking out, even pastors are getting involved. But look, you can't get angry at Bible-believing pastors because you got to realize this, is that one, we, we all agree, even all Bible-believing pastors agree, there's a one-world ruler who's going to control all the world, and it's not Fauci. And it's not Bill Gates, Amen. it's Satan himself. Look, we already know every Bible-believing pastor, and I can even dare say even fundamentalist pastors, will agree, even, we don't even have to know all this, we all agree that the things that are going on with COVID-19 is a good step and platform where the Antichrist can come in. We all agree with that one. Whether we agree on the specifics of what government does with its measures or how the people respond, we don't care about that. We just know that even if, look, even if the government is not evil and they did everything for a good reason, the Antichrist can still build his kingdom with good, sincere people trying to help save America or the world. Okay? That's, that, Satan will use good intentions to build up an evil system. So you don't need an evil intention to build up an antichrist kingdom. You can even use good intention. You can use good intention to do it. The point is, however, the point is, is that we know Satan's going to build up his government system. So what we Bible-believing Christians should do is win lost souls, concentrate on the people, minister to them. And you know what? All this stuff concerning about what the government's doing with us, we just leave that with Romans 14. That's your conviction. It's amazing how Christians are biting and fighting with each other when actually we should be building up even stronger than these guys. Now, shouldn't we build up stronger by, look, you don't think a church can't grow powerful if we've done what the Christians did at the past? Soul winning, being persecuted for righteousness sake, where they were in danger of extinction, yet they grew. Uh, standing up for their Bible, protecting the word of God teaching and ministering to people. You think that the church is going to be in crisis and grow extinct? That's why your pastor makes a stronger big deal about what? Doctrine. Rather than concerning about the evil conspiracies that go on. Doctrine makes a total big difference. Because there's a lot of people who are into this conspiracy and they're in wrong doctrine. That's right. So see, Satan will get you either way. So that's why I'm very strong on doctrine. A lot of people get bigger channels and subscribers because they're 
more angry about these guys. But when it comes to doctrine over here, they're like, they water down, they're nice, it doesn't really matter. Me, I'm the opposite. Over here, this doesn't matter more compared to the doctrine. Amen. And then when I get on doctrine, people leave my channel. They only come to my channel when I'm angry at these guys, see? Uh -huh. But I rarely do as much anger at these guys because I already know what the scriptures prophesy. Amen. Not only that, if I get angry more at these guys, my anger will eventually transition from them to my people. That's why you got to be careful of this. You dig too deep on this rather than Bible, than the Bible, then you might be turning against the wrong people. Yeah. That's something to think about. Now, now that I clarified all this, uh, now that I clarified all these cases over here, I'm going to go through the pyramid. So where I'm at is obviously I see the top, but I can see all of this in full perspective. Whereas some of my other Bible-believing peers, they're only going to see here. They're only going to see here. Me, on the other hand, I try to look at a whole perspective. So over here, what's going on? Let's fill in the blanks at the full perspective. This is why when these guys digging up all kinds of interesting facts and sources, so consist of facts and other sources that you might have to investigate as fact, but the point is, when they're looking at all these, they're only looking at the lower guys. And they don't see the bigger picture of the bigger guys in charge. That's why, see, I look at a full perspective. And even if I have to choose one or the other, rather than both, like a full perspective, if I have to choose one or the other, this is a lot better. Because you see the one who's really in control. Now, I'm going to show you the lower tires here. And then, hopefully, I can hit the big tires all the way to the top. Ready? Here we go. Even if people deny that WHO is involved in some kind of insidious plot or there's some kind of conspiracy going on, this is by Wired. And Wired admits, this is written by, I think, Robert Wright, April 10th, 2020. He even admits this. He even, what, this is a great article. What he does is that he tries to give so much benefit of the doubt to WHO and explains why they did these decisions, which is rational. And he's trying to give them a lot of the benefit of the doubt. But he even admits over here, quote, the title of the article is, Trump isn't wrong about investigating WHO. Because even though he disagrees with Trump and the, he calls it right-wing stunts, about we got to investigate WHO, there's something insidious or evil going on, he mentions that he doesn't agree with them on that one, but he admits that WHO, what they did, with their, because of their ties and relationship with China, they did not take immediate action like they should have. There were weeks, literally weeks of delay. So there should be an investigation. That way we can make at least WHO better in their process. See? So he's, you notice he's not even a conspiracy theorist guy. But he even admits that, hey, WHO, there are problems with it. So there should be investigations, not because they're insidious people, but that we can even uh, build up, this, improve the system. Now, we know why that the system don't improve. <laughs> Some of us Bible believers know why, because we know that the powers that be, they're doing something more insidious. Or at least that's what I believe, if a lot of other people don't believe in that. But I'm going to give you some interesting sources here. Now this one I would highly recommend. Uh, one of my members also sent me uh, this video link, which is great. Uh, I also, the previous video that I did concerning China, I also have to give credit to one of my other members uh, who gave me a lot of the sources, and that person has more uh, respectable background and degree than I do actually. But anyway, uh, the title of this, uh, before they take it down again, is called Doctors in Black, Plandemic global plan to take control of our lives, liberty, health, and freedom. I actually strongly recommend to watch that. And look, uh, even if you disagree with that, I still, uh, I still would highly recommend to watch it, even if you disagree with it, because it's going to show you a different side what they think, and then it can make you consider. So the, the scientist is Dr. Judy Mikovits, and she's actually, if uh, I could be wrong about this, but to my knowledge, she is a molecular biologist. 
So she's a molecular biologist. Now this one is really, really good actually. So she's one of these people that speaks out against what our government is doing. What she mentions in these videos is a lot of gold mine, and I actually, it's going to take a long time to extract, uh, it's going to take a lot of time to extract the quotes over here, but I'm going to give you a summary, and you can just check up the source, all right? But this is definitely worth your time. What she does is that she takes a totality of all the, well, not she, but the person who was in charge of the documentary took her narrative as well as all the other medical experts and scientists involved where they were speaking out against Fauci. Because what happened was is that she used to work and have a job and contributed a lot toward the medical field and the science field, but then Fauci got involved. And then Fauci, what he wanted was some of the information that she had. Why? Because if you look at some of the epidemics, situations that we have concerning about AIDS and etc., she points out that Fauci actually was the one responsible. He was the one directly responsible and he hid the information from the public and what and what is also very interesting is that concerning these epidemic situations that happen, you'll see Fauci miraculously involved in those things. It is very interesting, that documentary, where she, she pointed out her story. So she was actually arrested. And then what were the charges? She said none. They didn't bring up charges. But what they did was that they tried to plant the evidence where she was the one actually uh, guilty and not for being an unreliable scientist and researcher. But they didn't, even, they didn't even bring up the charge. That makes you very suspicious. So you know what she believes? She calls out names. She even mentions the head of CDC, and she called out all these names that the head of CDC is in cahoots with Fauci, and that all these big pharma guys are doing this. Why? Because of money. And then she mentioned hydrochloroquine. So she mentioned that how much cheaper that thing was that will be helpful to the people. And a lot of people were trying to hide it. Now, uh, Fauci gives the excuse that there's supposed to be a double blind placebo study. And if you study research methods, they do that kind of stuff. But one of the medical doctors mentioned this. I wonder if the vaccine that you pointed out, you're going to do the same thing. So they talk about this double line placebo study, but then why don't you do the same thing then with your vaccine that you're proposing, Fauci, Bill Gates, and et cetera. Not only that, Mikovits, she mentioned that the, there were thousands, literally thousands of people who got better because of that medical substance, that cheaper medical substance. And then she said, that's not something where it's non unscientific. Now, especially, uh, a lot of the things that the government is doing is already subjective. Why? For safety measures, right? Why don't they do the same thing with that cheaper medical substance then? No, unless you want to get money. And it is a matter of fact by USA Today, if I recall from my knowledge, and even mainstream news, they admit that you do get a bigger bonus of money if you diagnose the person, if you make sure that the person has COVID-19. Because you do get more money for it. Even mainstream news admits that. So this is something uh, more insidious than you think, something deeper. Why is Bill Gates the guy that everyone is turning to now? For the vaccines so that people can turn to. Why are they allowing him to have a voice on that one? Because it's all about money. And she mentions over here, Gates has no medical background or experience. And it's amazing that mainstream news are calling Bill Gates the doctor. There are some article titles that call him the Dr. Bill Gates. Now, this is something where, <laughs> I mean, without even a medical background, and they're already call him, calling him Dr. Bill Gates. That's amazing, right? And then with these guys, what do they do? They shut them out. I find that very suspicious. I find it highly suspicious. 
Makes me wonder. So you really trust your government more after that? Not only that, she mentions this. Here's something intensely interesting. She is not against vaccines. Let me repeat that again. She is not even against vaccines. She is not even against vaccines. And you know what she even said? She says that she's all for vaccines, how it's helpful for the body and etc. But she mentions that the particular vaccines that they're pushing that relates to the coronavirus, she mentions that the people, they are more susceptible. It, it makes them more susceptible to the virus. And there was actually a research study on that where they did it with military personnel. They did that. She even pulls it up. So the title of that article is by Greg G. Wolf. The title of it is Influenza Vaccination and Respiratory Virus Interference Among Department of Defense Personnel During the 2017 to 2018 Influenza Season. And uh, it, was it was received on June the 20th, 2019. It was accepted the 1st of October, 2019, and available online at the 10th of October, 2019. I think that should be specific enough. Mm -hmm. I wonder if you can find that source anymore. It makes me wonder about that. But she mentions, based on that article, that the kind of flu vaccination that they're promoting is actually increasing the endangerment concerning COVID-19. That's why watch the video. I would highly recommend that. That way you can see a bigger picture over here. Now let me tell you something else that's interesting. There was a person, uh, this is by Yahoo News, and there was this person, Bing Liu, who was working on finding a cure to the coronavirus. And he was searching it and researching it very hard, and he was on the verge there. You know what the title of the article is? Makes you wonder now. Uh, this, excuse me, not Yahoo News. This is by USA Today, May the 6th, 2020. Uh, Yancey Bragg is the author. Title of the article, Professor Researching COVID-19 Killed. Why? Let me read the article. A University of Pittsburgh professor who was on the verge of making very significant findings about COVID-19 was fatally shot in Pennsylvania over the weekend. How, how convenient. <laughs> Bing Liu, a 37-year-old research assistant professor, was found dead in a home Saturday with gunshot wounds in his head, neck, torso, and an extremity, according to the Allegheny County Medical Examiner. An hour later, a second person, 46-year-old Hao Gu, was found dead in a vehicle less than a mile away, according to the agency. Okay, what's the excuse here? They have to have an excuse. Investigators believe Gu killed Liu in his home before returning to his car and taking his own life after that. So after he killed the professor, then he took his own life. How convenient without a word of testimony. Yeah. Now this is, uh, who claimed that? Detective Sergeant Brian Callhep of the Ross Police Department. Police believe the men knew each other and that the homicide was the result of a lengthy dispute of, over what? Regarding an intimate partner. So they must have had a relationship or something. You know what's very convenient here? Cole Hepp said because, well, why don't we investigate that, right? Why don't the states investigate that, right? Cole have said because those involved were not United States citizens, the police department's review is being forwarded to federal authorities. Oh. Liu earned a PhD in computational science from the National University of Singapore, studied as a postdoctorate fellow at Carnegie Mellon University. In his statement, his colleagues described him as a prolific researcher who published more than 30 papers and was an excellent mentor. The quote is, Binge was on the, Bing, excuse me, Bing was on the verge of making very significant findings toward understanding the cellular mechanisms that underlie SARS, COVID-2 infection, and the cellular basis of the following complications, the statement said. Makes you wonder, right? Makes you wonder. But yeah, a lot of people, they're rooting for Trump, right? Where he's saying, 
that I'm going to get take over, uh, I'm going to crush the deep state, and he mentions deep state, deep state quite often. Now, whether you believe that he's part of it or against it, I'm not going to debate about that. What I'm going to say is this, is that even assuming that there are these people in power, it's not just her, there's a lot of people, medical experts who got involved. And then you also get him, let's even assume that you get as many people as possible to crush. Who are you going to crush then? Let's say that you do find them guilty, and then you crush these guys. You didn't get rid of the pyramid. No, sir. You know why? These are the lower tire. Over here, you get media. Here's the bottom tire here. Media, schools, and you also have intelligence agencies, right? So let's just put agencies. Intelligent agencies. Lower tire. Right here, higher tire. But it goes higher than that. Because if you look at the organizations that they're involved with, a lot of people mention about these group of people. They mention about CFR, Bilderbergers, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, Trilateral Commission, et cetera, et cetera. So you got... And then Club of Rome. So even if you knock off the individuals, what about the rest of their partners? But it gets even worse than that. Because if you go higher than this, the one who started a lot of these organizations was actually Rhodes and Rhodes. He was involved with Masons, Masonic Lodges. And if you trace Masonic lodges, they were carrying, that's where the Illuminati members were hiding out, actually. And the Illuminati member, what does it consist of? It consists of the Mason order and then the Rothschilds as well, the Jews. But then it also covers who? The Roman Catholic Church. You will see Jesuit everywhere. Jesuit, Jesuit, the Catholic, the Catholic, everywhere. If we go even higher than that, this is not really the tire, but it's the mother. And the mother has always been Babylon, who gave birth to her children for all the kings of the nations, Revelation 17 and Revelation 18. And there you get the infamous Jesuits. If you study history, Jesuits are definitely the mother tire out of all the other people. Out of all the other people. You can't go higher than that. It is true that you can see Jesuits subordinate under any of these guys. You can see that. But what you're doing is that you're not looking at the system as a whole. And not only that, another thing is they're the mother. They're the mother that gave birth. And the children can go against the mother. See that? But Revelation 17 and 18 demands that she will be on top later on. It's also interesting, the black pope, what did he say? I don't know if you guys saw that video clip, which I didn't show at the church. But what did he say? He mentioned that the next outbreak is going to be much worse than the first. The Jesuit general, the black pope. You can watch that specific clip that I put at the end over there. But the one who's really running the show, you're going to realize, it's not them. They're not in charge of everything. Everyone's doing their own power. But you can see a structure here. The one who's on top, you got to realize, is Satan. He's controlling everybody. And everybody is going by some devil inside them, thirsting and lusting for power. And that's a matter of fact in human nature. Human nature. That's why you really don't have to know all this stuff. You know why? Because you're only going to cover a lower tire. Until you knock the top, then you'll get it. But who's going to knock the top? That's Jesus Christ. Amen, That's Jesus Christ. I'm going to show you one more source, and then we'll call it a night. Thank you so much for your patience. Uh, let me wrap this up. There was a lot of information. That's why. But this one is officially found. Uh, the title of this is Research. Uh, it's by the U.S. Department of Health and human services. 
And I have the exact picks to show it if you can't find it online, actually. So I even have the pick over here as proof. But it's by the NIH. Now remember, Fauci, he's in charge of what? So this is by the NIH Research Portfolio Online Reporting Tools. Project information is 2R01A, I think that's an I, 110964-06. Okay, why are you saying all of that, Pastor? Because I'm going to show you something here. Is that if you look at this research, you're going to see who's the one paying for all of this with China concerning about COVID-19. You know who it is? Fauci's organization. Fauci. His organization. I'm going to give the dates. And then I'm going to give the total cost that they gave. Peter Daszak was given the responsibility to take care of to take care of it. And here's the first one. Understanding the risk of bat coronavirus emergence. They were doing this when? 2014. Paid $666,000, coincidentally, <laughs> 666. The, uh, the, ad, the admin is the NIAID. Here's another one. All of this is admit, admin by the NIAID. It's all of it. Funding is all by the NIAID. And see Fauci connected to that. Big guy, show that leads and uh, does everything. Here's another one. Understanding the risk of bat coronavirus emergence. Okay, all of this is the same thing. Date 2015, they paid $630,445. They did it again, 2016, and paid $611,090. They did it again at uh, 2017. $597,000.112. Uh, $597, they did it again at 2018, $581,000.646. They did it again at 2019, $292,000.161. Project numbers, all of them include 1R01AI110964-01. The other one is 5R01AI110964-02. The other one is 5R01AI, uh, that the numbers are the same except dash 03. The other one is the same, it ends at dash 04. The other one's the same, it ends at dash 05. And the other one's is the same, it ends at dash 06. Project information. You want to hear this? Bat in southern China harbor an extraordinary diversity of SARSR coves, of some of which can use human ACE2 to enter cells, infect humanized mouse models causing SARS like sickness, and evade available therapies or vaccines. We found that people living close to bat habitats are the primary risk groups for spillover that at one site, diverse SARS coves exist that contain every genetic, uh, let's see right here, ba -ba 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 -ba. that contain every genetic element of SARS cov genome and identified serological evidence of human exposure among people living nearby. These findings have led to 18, 18 published peer-reviewed papers, including the papers in Nature and a review in Cell, Yet salient questions remain on the origin, diversity, capacity to cause illness, and risk of spillover of these viruses. Look, they had knowledge about this long time ago. So you'll notice over here that they already were underway working with this, concerning about investigating bats and viruses long before, and Fauci was the one who funded. Strange stuff in our world. So Satan's going to take over the world. And 1 Thessalonians 5, let's close it off here. Verse 2, For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh at the, as a thief in the night. We know that the end is near. Look at the timing. For when they shall say what? 
Peace and safety. See that? You know what all of this is done for? You know what the excuse is? Peace and safety. It is for safety measurements, which is why we are what? Destroying you. Keep reading. Peace and safety, then what? Sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. The goal of the New World Order system is to use safety measurements, and it's all for a peace, peaceful world that we live in that don't speak out. Shush. So that we can do it to protect the people and provide peace. But the Bible says this is what? Sudden what? Destruction. All of this, you got to realize, is just where everyone is going to be destroyed. And that is a matter of fact when you just don't look at coronavirus numbers. Why are they concentrating on that one? Did they look at the repercussions that happened with this lockdown? A lot of the mental breakdowns, a lot of other diseases, people who won't go to the hospitals because of fear of the coronavirus, mental situations. What about addicts who relapsed and et cetera? And see, I already experienced some of that with uh, some of the people that I got involved with. So, and the economy definitely is collapsing big time, huge. So this is something where it is destruction for the sake of peace and safety.